Good morning, everyone, um, or afternoon, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, Coach Rob here. Happy St. Patrick's Day. That's the reason why I'm in my Locust Valley Green. Uh, so unfortunately, this morning, we did have a great class. We had a few few people jump on and get into a workout, but I forgot to screen record it. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to walk you through the warm-up and, and talk to you a little bit about um, how you can modify this workout. Uh, just a couple of things. Try to review the workout beforehand. Um, you can see our workouts. I think there was some confusion on that. So if you're a Rad CrossFit member, you can go to Wattify. So once you hit up Wattify, you're going to go down below the date. So where it says, you know, March 17th, you're going to go to where it says program and click that button and scroll from CrossFit to CrossFit Basics. That's going to give you the full workout, okay, with the warm up and the two options for your workout. So you have a body weight workout or a um, equipment workout. Okay, uh, so with that said, I'm just going to take you through that workout today. Uh, the workout starts with 30 repetitions. So the first 30 repetitions you're going to do uh, jump ropes, uh, jumping jacks, I'm sorry. So one, two, three, all the way up to 30. So I would pause it right now and do your 30 reps. And then the next one's going to be the squat thruster. So the squat thruster is going to be used in the workout today. Um, it's not what you think if you are a crossfitter. It's actually a little bit different. It looks like a burpee. So just to review, you're going to keep your feet together, put your hands down, kick your feet back, stay in that plank. I'm sorry, stay in that plank position, bring your feet together, and just come to a stand. So we're squatting down, reaching back, getting together, and standing up. So let's pause now and do 30 reps. After your squat thrusters, you're going to do 30 speed jumps. So you're just going to keep your feet together and go side to side for 30 jumps. So pause now and do that. After your speed jumps, you're going to do your sit-ups. So you're just going to lean back all the way up, okay, all the way back, all the way up. So let's pause now and do your 30 sit-ups. After your 30 sit-ups, you're going to do your air squats. So you're just going to go all the way down, stand all the way up, and do 30 squats. So remember, keep your feet flat, sit down, and stand up. And after that, you're going to do your plate hops. If you have a plate, use a plate. Or if you have some kind of object that's stable for about uh, an inch, inch and a half, let's use that. So you're just going to jump up. Jump back, jump up, jump back. If you don't have a plate, there's no worries. You can just use the ground to do 30 forward and back. Okay, so pause now and do your 30 reps. Okay, so talking about today's workout, you have six rounds of 15 1 5 squat thrusters. Uh, that's what we did for our warm up. Then you have 60 jump ropes. And then you have 10 kettlebell swings, okay? And I'll give you some modifications for that. So the squat thruster, as I said before, you're going to put your hands back, reach back. With this position, you don't want to sag. Keep your hips up. Help you bring your feet together. And stay tight in your belly or in your core uh, to get into that plank position. After you're done with that, you're going to do 60 jump ropes. Now, if you have the space, you can jump rope, okay? Uh, but if you don't have, or you have a jump rope, uh, use it. If you don't have a jump rope, you can practice your jump ropes with, with air. So if I'm doing a single one, I'm going to jump and just hit the side of my hips, okay, for my single jump rope. If I'm not jumping rope, I'm just, if, if you want to practice your double under, you're going to jump a little higher, okay? If you notice I'm jumping up and I'm tapping the side of my body twice and trying to get that rhythm of the double under. Um, I know we're trying to work out and try to move, but this is a good practice, okay? So try to just be consistent with that. And if we don't have jump ropes or if we don't want to jump rope, that's fine. We can just do jumping jacks as we did in our warm-up. The kettlebell swing. So we're going to use a kettlebell for this. If you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, okay, I'll show you how to do a dumbbell swing in a second. 
um, the spine. If you don't, I have a variation of you can do just body weight. So you're just going to go into that bent lift position, swing forward, back, forward, and back. Now, if you notice in my garage, I don't have the space. You have to consider your environment, okay? So I'm not going all the way overhead. I'm just keeping it high level, which is fine, okay? With a dumbbell, you can grab the dumbbell like so and go in your pockets forward and your pockets forward. So those are your dumbbell swings. So again, your workout today is going to be six rounds, okay, 15 squat thrusters, 60 jump rope. You can do 60 double unders or 60 single unders or jumping jacks, and then you have 10 kettlebell swings. And then the modified modifications of the kettlebell swing with body weight is going to be a vertical jump. So you're going to go back, up, back, and up. So you're just doing a vertical jump. Okay? So that's today's workout. I'm going to play. The next video is going to show me doing the workout. Uh, so challenge yourself. Try to stay with me or beat me. Okay? Um, I beat Mike today, and I didn't get that on video, so I'm very upset about that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, yeah, and you'll see in the video, I'm going to start the timer. It's going to go 10 seconds. All right, so let's get, let's get that workout in, and then uh, let me know if you have any comments or concerns.
Thank <laughs> you.